Well, Pomiano is the the name of a small town in the Campania region, where Naples is, and uh, there we got there uh, an important uh, Fiat factory. Fiat is the biggest industry in Italy. It's a car industry, and uh, that's that's the place where we had the first. Um, the first feelings that something was ta was changing, that the bourgeoisie was starting the final attack against the, the working class. Um, basically, there was this uh, new chief of the of Fiat, Marchionne, Sergio Marchionne, very unfamous now, uh, who decided that Fiat couldn't afford uh, giving to the workers the same treatment that they always had uh, in the past and that the only way to continue to um, produce in Italy was um, to change all the, the, the conditions of the workers' contracts. So basically uh, they had to work more, um, start to give up on uh, trade, trade unions' rights, uh, and so less, um, less meetings uh, to decide uh, the struggles, and uh, have less, um, less rights about deciding uh, how and when to make a strike, and, and so on. Um, this fact made, made many workers uh, start, to, start to wake up, and the uh, FIUM trade union, which is the trade union of uh, how do you say, metal mechanic, mechanics, so workers of the heavy industry, this trade union started to fight against this uh, disagreement because basically Marchione said, or the workers make uh, this agreement with us, which it was an agreement against all the collective uh, contracts, the national contracts of the of the sector, and um, or, you, or the workers will make these uh, agreements with us, or we will maybe close or anyway go away from Italy and start to produce in a, in another country. So to to try to give uh, something uh, you know a, a legal a legal fashion to to all this, he proposed uh, a poll. He said, okay, the workers can vote, but clearly clearly the fact was if you vote against this agreement, you can say goodbye to your job. Uh, otherwise, okay, we will continue to uh, to produce here. So the the film trade union made a made a strong uh, a strong struggle to to make the workers understand that they had to vote no because otherwise the things will get just worse and worse because the when you when you uh, renounce to 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 your rights then of course the the boss will always uh, will always ask more and anyway the boss promises are never are never real and Everybody, everybody was sure that the the poll would finish with the, I don't know maybe 90 percent of yes to the agreement because the workers were uh, were scared. But uh, with the with the struggle of the of the trade unions and we have to say even of the party of the Rifondazione Comunista that in uh, in that. In, uh, in that factory had a section, and the section was controlled by the Falce Martello, which is the Italian section of the international Marxist tendency. Made a, made made a good made a good work, and in fact, really, the, actually, the, the the poll ended up with a majority of yes, but not with a with a percentage that the boss thought. I don't I don't remember right now. I'm sorry the the exact numbers, but I think that the, the yes won for maybe a 10% or, so, or something like that. In fact, the boss didn't, didn't celebrate that much. And anyway, even as we Marxists expected, even if the, if the yes won, the production hadn't started again, and all the... They, they decided anyway that a lot of workers had to be fired, 
and of course in this part of workers the majority were workers that um, they were inside the the, the film the film trade union now um, um, the, 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 after the, after that there was a, there was a trial because it, it, it's even against the Italian constitution to fire somebody because of uh, of his political uh, of his political thoughts and in fact in fact the we had a sentence from the from the Italian judges a few a few days ago which uh, which stated that the fiat had to um, to hire again 145 workers of the of the film but what happens now nowadays the the boss feel, uh, feels a lot strong and so they're they're actually not hiring in them again, and uh, the government. I don't know if everybody knows, but the the government we have right now in Italy is a so-called technical uh, government, which at the end means a government that is a di direct expression of the of the bourgeoisie of the of the capital. It is not doing anything uh, anything about this. But what we know is that the, the struggle will go on and on, it will continue, it will get bigger and it will spread with, uh, within uh, the other factories and probably among all the, the workers uh, of Italy. Italy is a clear uh, example of what is happening in all Europe and in all the, in all the world, so the, the class struggle uh, will get uh, bigger and, and harder. We, the, the workers will react to the big repression that is going on from the bourgeoisie.